Hey, it's me, Rishan. Welcome back to part 2 video of wedding invitation pop out style. And if you don't watch the part 1 video, you can available in my description link. This is a little bit advanced tutorial. And if you have any doubt, please comment it below. So, let us start. So, after we have to add a character into the sequence timeline. So, this is a character. So again change the character sequence into 3D and adjust into view also we already done and also you can change the rotation like this and change the view into front view and you can also adjust from here I think we have to change the rotation because R in keyboard for rotation. Yeah, like this. Now change the position into here. Change the position, the view into top. Change the position like this. You can preview in active camera in here in your right window now we are almost done change the view into one view now we can adjust from here so select the bg and double click and inside the bg just increase the size of the background image so again adjust the character position based on this bg and change the rotation yeah like this we want to make a 90 degree from this cardboard so you can get like this video yeah. you can adjust the position and scale everything as per your video as per your image size so i just change the rotation and if you press the R in keyboard you can get the rotation value if you press S in keyboard you can get the scale value and P for position so we almost done now you can add some color grade and some rain effects or a lot of effects and also you can and here the background is blur in video but our background and the image is not blur so duplicate the bg and by control d in keyboard you can duplicate the bg and click and drag and go to the shape the rectangle tool add a mask into the bg so you forgot to duplicate the bg so don't worry we can duplicate after setting up mask so change the mask like this and shift click and click in each point you can adjust the point separately and then duplicate the bg and inside delete the mask in bottom layer so in top layer we have a mask and bg and add a blur for the top layer add a camera lens blur you can increase the value and i think it's not effects in this image because in the background is just a sky so that's why it's not effects and also if you are if you want a feather go to mask and increase the mask feather so we done if you have any problem with this part just uh, skip you don't need to duplicate any bg you don't need to have you don't need to add a mask just skip the this step so it's only for perfection so basically create a duplicate of bg and top layer add a mask at that side then blur it that's only we done and Yeah, done almost. Now you can add some wedding title. 
and if you are going to my youtube channel you can get and search win wedding you can get a lot of wedding titles from my channel this one and this one you can use any wedding title so you can also use in premiere just export the video then apply the wedding title in premiere pro it's very simple so hope you enjoy it and if you have any doubt and if you have any problem with this tutorial please comment it below and hope you enjoy it and also please hit on the subscribe button if you don't know how to use the 3d tracker and how to adjust the composition in 3d just watch any advanced tutorial you can search in youtube